Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, today's video, I'm gonna show you actually one of my favorite things to do when making music, um, that's creating your own drum track. All right, so go ahead and start a new song. I'm gonna click the plus button. All right, and when I click plus, I'm gonna select um, instruments. All right, so plus and then instruments. Um, when you go to instruments, you normally usually see the keyboard. I'm gonna swipe to get to the drums. All right, then there um, at the bottom, the beat sequencer. That's what I'm going to show you today, how to start making your own beat. So click the beat sequencer. And you get that, you get this um, screen. All right, this is the different parts of the drum. You got the kick, the snare, the clap. Um, the next one's called the hi-hat, the closed hi-hat. Then we have the open hi-hat. And then the last two green ones are called the toms. You have a low tom and a high tom. And then there at the bottom, um, percussion sound. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to start using this. Um, there at the bottom, if you click uh, that that grid, they have pre-made patterns for you that you can pick from. Um, they have tons of different um, pre-made beats that you could select. Um, but I wanna show you how to start making your own beats. Um, and my personal favorite is just making my own drum beat. So we're gonna click just the new pattern or stay on the new pattern. Um, and when you do that, you see there at the bottom, you have a power symbol. Um, if that's highlighted green and you see it's, you see the square is moving, that means it's playing through that beat. Now I'm gonna click a kick right there. You see how it starts playing the highlighted kick, all right? Now, traditional music, kick is always on the first and the third beat. And I'm gonna put a clap here at the second beat, all right? And then another clap at the fourth beat. Um, almost every beat that's made in the history of popular music, the kicks are always on the first and the third beat, and then your claps or your snares are on the second and fourth beat. All right, so that's just a good way to get started. Put a kick on your first beat, clap on your second beat, and then start adding in some hi-hats. I like, you know, you just play around till you see something you like, you can add and take squares away, all right? So I'm liking that hi-hat, how that feels. All right, I'm gonna add a few more in. All right, I'm, I'm starting to like this groove, starting to feel it, all right. Um, now the open hi-hat, good practice is to put it between two closed hi-hats. So, um, so see how I put it in between there. And then the toms, um, you can just play around. Um, if you feel what you like. Um, Personally, I'm a fan of house music, so I, I'm liking this beat. This is uh, what I would call a, a house beat, house music, all right? Um, so I'm putting in some toms there to like what I hear. Um, and lastly, you can add in um, some of these percussion sounds. Um, so this can mess around, all right? I'm liking, liking the feel there, all right? So now that I'm, I'm kind of liking this beat, I'm gonna turn it off here for a second. Um, up here in the top corner, you can change the length of, of how long you want it to be, you know. I'm gonna make this eight bars, um, so that when I hit record, um, I'm gonna make it eight bars. All right, so hit record, the counting starts. Easy thing here, you don't have to do anything. Once you hit record, it'll play through the beat you made and it'll record. Again, I made this eight bars, so I'm watching that red line at the top. I'm just gonna let it record until it gets all the way through um, the eight measures or the eight bars. All right, so here, now I'm gonna hit stop. And now I have my beat that's recorded. All right, I can go back to my grid view. So I'm gonna click the grid um, and my beat is there recorded, while I'm ready for me to use in my song. All right, so here I'm gonna hit play just to listen through it. All right, now, um, so now that I made this beat, I can add a, um, a piano in with it if I want. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign, instruments, um, and choose my smart piano. All right, and I'm gonna hit um, play button so I can hear my beat, and then I'm just gonna mess around, try to find, just play something I like with the beat. All right, once I find something I like, um, I'm gonna hit stop up here, and then we'll hit the record button, and I'll try playing the same thing lock in a recording. All right, so here's my count in. All right, so now I've recorded a piano piece with that. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my grid view. Um, 
and then we hit play and listen to them together. Alright, so there's how you can start making your own drum beats and then adding in your own um, instruments with it. Um, so using the, the beat sequencer is the easiest way to start making your own drum beats. Um, so again, you hit that plus sign, you go to instruments, and then you swipe over and you find the beat sequencer and that's where you can start building your own drum beat. Um, hope you enjoy making your own drum beats. Enjoy!